I've never really been on the mountaintop. I've sort of stayed halfway between. It's all been very interesting. I went to Acadia first mm -hmm. in 1928 and graduated in 1932 with a BA majoring in biology. And from Acadia, did you go directly? Then I came to Dalhousie. Well, first of all, I was the only girl in the class. I was just like a queen. They just waited on me hand and foot. Mm -hmm. In those days, we had to have our own microscope and uh, all our own uh, instruments, and, and so we carried them from one lab to another, and they always carried mine for me, and they always held the door open for me. Otherwise, I thought I was one of the boys. I answered all the advertisements in the uh, medical journals uh, the, where they asked for residents or interns, and uh, only one hospital answered me. After I'd been there a while, they told me that uh, they didn't want to have me because I was a woman. And uh, the intern that they'd had there before had been an Italian with a fiery temper <laughs> who fought with all the nurses and couldn't get along with the patients. And so the comment was, well, anything would be better than what we have. So let's try her. Once I got into anesthesia and realized how big it was, how big a field it was, and how many changes they were making so rapidly. I kept on, and I did my three years there, and uh, got my specialty. Using a relaxant mm -hmm. was so new, it was just made from the crude curare from South America. So we decided to try it. Just put it into the intravenous tube and let it run in, see? And uh, it was very exciting. One day they said to me, how's the book coming? And I said, the book? And I, you know, they thought it was going to be a book, but I didn't. I thought it was just going to be something, you know, put on the Xerox. And uh, I said I'd never teach, you know, and, uh, and here I wound up teaching longer than I gave anesthetics. Uh, but you never know when you start out what you're going to do.